Dear Daddy, I um I actually am struggling with having to um Okay, I'm struggling with you know this message I have actually for about four years now. And writing you a tribute or you know having to record one is one of the most difficult things I have ever had to do. And the fact that I have to do it now just brings back some brings back memories. It will be four years on the 29th of this month since you passed and um, one of the I mean I feel like it's really very very unfair for you to have you know passed or let I say left me behind and how I and my sisters I like to say me because I have your favorite child and you are the love of my life as well. Growing up without you was really tough and that's because at a very young age I had to learn to not live with my daddy or live with my mom. But then I remember one of the best memories I always had was when you'd come back from work late in the night and um, have me tell you stories about how my day went and tell you everything that happened whilst you were away or you were at work and I'll tell you and I'll gossip as well and tell you things I, wasn't, I was asked not to tell you. I remember seeing you lit your cigarette, um, cigar cigarette in the dark in your room and um, just listen to me while I just told you everything. And I remember you saying to me that um, I was the best thing that ever happened to you and that you would do everything to give me the best life that you could and that I was the best of everyone, like I was the best of my kind and I remember my childhood friends and you'd be like, you're better than this, you're better than this girl, you're better than that girl, you're more beautiful and I think that you look very much like me. And those words, even while when I had to stay away from you for years, stuck with me. And that's because those were the only words that I could um, remember of you. And when you and my mom reconciled again, I was the happiest girl in the world because I wanted to tell everyone that I had a father. Because I remember people always ask me, oh, there's a rest of your daddy, and I'll be like, I don't want people to look at me in a very funny way, like, you don't know where your dad is. I remember having friends who had their dad around, and I always wished for that life. And growing up, I always looked for a daddy in every boyfriend that I had at the time. So I was termed as uh, the girl with the daddy issues. So having you back in our lives, I told everyone that I cared to listen that my dad was home and I wanted to go and make him dinner. But unfortunately, I just had one year to spend with you. Or I was given one year to spend with you. I am thankful for it. Although at, at the time, and I still feel like it's, it was unfair for you to have just gone. But um, I also remember the smiles, the gap tooth. And um, he used to call me at that waterline because that was your company. And for every time I came back home and you know told you about the things I wanted to do or I was working on, I could that smile that showed that you were so proud of me which always gave me joy. Now your, your son, our brother, we finally met him. And he looks so, so much like you. I mean, uh, I feel like 
that's a compensation that um, we have, you know. We feel like having him around is almost like having him around because he looks every age like you. He talks like you, speaks like you, and can be annoying like you too. And loves the foods that you love, loves the drinks that you love. It's amazing. He does look like you. And um, he also wishes that he met you too. I am fine. No, I'd like to think that I am. But I'll give anything to... See, you smile at me again. And see how well I have done. Yes, Maya is dead. But um, she has a brother, Gray. Maya died last year. I am thankful for you. I am thankful for that one year that I got to spend with you again and truly experienced what it was like or what it is like to have a father in your life. Um, I pray that you continue to find rest. And uh, as hard as it is, Father's Day, so I'm not sure if you can hear for what it's worth. Happy Father's Day. 